We about to have some laughs. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? It's your man, Jeff, and we are back with another one. First off, and as always, guys, it is what? Damn good to see you. Oh, man, I hope you guys are out there doing fucking good, man, for real. And if you're not, well, I hope this will help out a little bit, man. We got some Lee Evans. Whoo, y'all tell me from the last one when I did Jimmy Carr that this was one guy that I have to check out. And this one it looks like it's from a new special, or maybe not a new special, but one that he's released on his YouTube, which is fucking awesome. <clears throat> I love when comedians do that, man. So, I'm curious to see, well, I don't, I'm so used to saying that I'm curious to see what he's going to talk about in a hip-hop song. But, with this, it already fucking says, man, police horses and spotting murderers. <laughs> now, I saw this dude, like, when I was a kid, not live or nothing like that, it was just on TV. But I can't remember, he had some sort of joke where he was talking about being a mime or something like that, and he got stuck in a box and shit, but he was fucking hilarious, so I know this is going to be good. So, without any further ado, man, let's jump into some stand-up, some Lee Evans. Let's go. I see that sometimes on the road. You ever see that? That van with that sign on the back, dog unit. I always think I'm going to pull up alongside of it. Big fucking Alsatian driving like that. <laughs> you know, fur rolled up, fag on her. <laughs> I don't get the police dog thing. They always train those dogs to weave really fast between a row of traffic cones, step over tiny hurdles, sit when told, and run through that dog tunnel. What's the point in teaching those dogs to do that? When have you ever seen a major bank job and the robbers burst out the bank and go, <laughs> OK, let's go, 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 go! <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for the police. Sometimes they're at a disadvantage. Like, sometimes you'll see a policeman on horseback in the middle of the town. Whose idea was it to put a copper on a horse in the middle of a major city? I mean, we got cars now. It's not the 1700s. How the fuck does that work? There's a copper sat on a horse, right? A car goes past. <laughs> we got a joy rider! Let's go, champion! <laughs> you know, the fucking horse is like, wee! Wee! The horse is doing the sirens. <laughs> I mean, you don't have an unmarked horse, do you? <laughs> you know, with a plain clothes copper on top, trying to blend in outside Tesco's. <laughs> Easy champion, I don't think anyone's noticed. <laughs> See, they use the big horses for the big crimes. In that case, they should use Shetland ponies for community policing. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? Some kids playing football on a field, a copper turns up. Ah, you're not allowed to play football on that fucking field. <laughs> Fuck off, you're not a real copper. Hey, come here, you little bastard. <laughs> Oh, yeah. still using I fucking love physical comedians, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why are they still using horses? It's ridiculous. That's like, officer down, send back up, officer down. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait there. <laughs> It's like police sirens. What's going on with police sirens these days? It used to be just two notes. Da, 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 da. These new ones, they sound like your nan after she just heard a bit of bad news. What? Oh, Better change the old ones, because it always sounded like giving up as it had gone past. It was like, da, 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 da. <laughs> I like the modern ones when they get stuck in traffic. Have you heard them when they do that? <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. As soon as one of those modern police cars gets stuck in traffic, it's like, Wee! It's like these new car alarms. What's going on with car alarms these days, you know? It used to be just one sound. Now they've got a whole repertoire when they go off. Somebody sets off at three in the morning up your street. You sit there and go, Woo! Woo! Step away from the car, please. Step away from the car. Woo! Please turn up. Woo! 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 
<laughs> Step away from the car, please. <laughs> Crime is on the increase. I don't get the criminal system in this country. You can kill somebody, plead insanity, and get away with it. No, I didn't mean to kill all those people. I'm just a bit mental, that's all. <laughs> That's all right. I might, I might try that one. Next time I'm pulled over by the police for speeding, he'll be knocking on my window going, Do you want to wind your window down, sir? I'll be in the car going, Ah! 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at that fucking crowd, man. Oh, my God. <clears throat> That's one thing I'm fascinated by, comedians, man. There's no music. There's no band. There's no guitar player. There's just one dude and a microphone, and he has to keep control of the whole fucking room, man. It, uh, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you fucking cool on a speed camera, you know? <laughs> Have you noticed when, whenever some nutcase turns up in the news because he's killed somebody, all his neighbours always say that same ridiculous thing. Well, he didn't show any troubling warning signs. <laughs> well, no, of course he didn't, because if he jumped out the bushes and shot you through the air with his own made crossbow, you might have said at that point, you know, there's something <laughs> fucking wrong with that bloke, mate. <laughs> I mean, it's too late after they killed someone. That's like saying one more violent murder like that and I'll take that as a fucking warning sign. <laughs> It's like when they warn us on the news, you know, a prisoner has escaped and he's on the loose and we need your help in finding him. And then they say, but do not approach this man, he is highly dangerous. <laughs> well, what the fuck do they expect us to do? <laughs> I mean, you have to be within murdering distance to recognise anybody. <laughs> you know, you're walking through Birmingham Town Centre, you go, ah, fucking hell, is that that psychopathic killer fella on the news? <laughs> that looks like that fucking nutcase on the news. <laughs> Let me have a closer look, hold on. <laughs> See, now, I thought it was you. Yeah. <laughs> so they always say that one as well. He was such a quiet man. Kept himself very much to himself. Bit of a loner, actually. Yeah, that's because anyone he ever met, he murdered the shit out of him. <laughs> Have you noticed any time there's an incident on the news, the outside reporter bloke turns up, starts interviewing all the neighbours? Have you noticed there's always boring people? Some bloke standing there in a the polo going, well, bored. I was in me shed. <laughs> I heard the scream and I came out to see what was happening, you know. <laughs> but you never see, you never see like a couple, do you, standing there in fucking rubber gear, you know? <laughs> well, we just settled in for a serious night of some s and isn't that right, mistress? <laughs> <laughs> you know, his wife's next to him in a, in a fucking gimp mask, you know? Yes, and I just said, shut up, you slave, and lick my knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> lick my knees. <laughs> That's so nasty, it's hilarious. Oh, my God, man. <clears throat> Shout out to Lee Evans, dude. Hell yeah the first time I've seen him since I've like, you know, became an adult. So it's kind of nice to see, man. He did not hold back. Like, in the first two seconds, he was already swearing. So that's fucking, that's awesome, man. I appreciate that, that I swear a lot when I talk. Not too much, but, well, <laughs> I can't even, you guys see it. I say the F word all the freaking time, man. So thank you to you guys, man, for getting me to jump on this. Lee Evans was fucking hilarious. I definitely want to check out more of him. There was, a uh, fuck, Warren King. What's up, dude? You told me about another guy that I gotta check out. I'm gonna have to sift through and find a comment, but we're definitely gonna get to him, too, man. Because, I, like I said, hip-hop and comedy are my, like, two favorite things because the two places you can go where it's fucking real, man. Clearly, with shit like this, they're gonna tell you stuff. They're gonna open up your mind to different avenues and shit like that, man, which is, you can never get enough of, like, I don't know, especially for me, man, I'm, I feel like I'm always learning something, especially with me, like in my brain, always something new you can do, man, so if it's hip-hop or if it's comedy that helps you get to that point to maybe learn something fucking right.
So, as always, guys, man, I hope you have a good, a good day, man, for real. Going after your dreams, taking baby steps. That's all you gotta do, man, and just believe in yourself. You damn right. So, as always, guys, I love you, and I will catch you in the next one, alright? Peace out, y'all.